Hey everybody, what's up? Jacob here again with NextGenerationAcoustics.com coming at you with a really quick Q&A. And today, uh, what I have, and I get asked this a lot, and it's why is there a foil on the backside of NGA's acoustic panels and NGA bass traps? And that's a really good question. So, if you look at an acoustic panel, uh, the back side, it's, it's never seen, it's never shown. So there's no exact reason for there to be a finish on that end. That's why a lot of times panels are only wrapped on one side. Um, and so what a lot of companies do is they'll leave a raw back that might just be exposed core. So if the core is a, a rigid fiberglass, uh, basically like whenever you turn the panel around, you just have fabric glued around to the back and in between that fabric on the back, you just have exposed fiberglass. Uh, you have other companies opt for, uh, and, and hold on before I go to that, the problem with the exposed fiberglass is when you install the panel and the more you keep installing the panel, it keeps on eating into the fiberglass and on the back of the panel and kind of like, it, it, it's it tears apart the structural integrity of the panel from the inside out and it, it decreases the density of the core so wherever like if it's a uh, one that you have to stab to the wall with impaler clips it basically eats the core out every time you reinstall it it it, it eats away a little bit more of the core and it decreases the density of the of the material inside, which actually decreases the effectiveness of the panel. So never recommend installing your panels with uh, impaler clips, y'all. Uh, so the next option that you see a lot of companies use sometimes is plywood on the back or just like a wood surface on the back. Uh, the con to this is, even though it is really good for installing, like if you, it allows so many different ways to be able to get it on the wall because you have something very structural on the back, you can hang it, you can always find a stud or an anchor or anything you need to to get it on, but the problem with that is sound uh, is it actually has a reflective surface. It doesn't allow the sound to quote breathe and go past all the way through the panel. And what you find is if you have an air gap on the back of the panel or a distance, any, even if it's a half inch, a whole inch, um, any gap at all that allows the, the sound to breathe through the panel is going to increase the absorption coefficient. So it's specifically in the low end and low mids. So uh, it's really good for the installation, but really bad for low end and low mid absorption. So that leads to uh, what we do, and that is a foil backing so with our foil backing it protects you from the core on the inside of the panel uh, but it also uh, doesn't have a reflective surface that makes sound come back out uh, it allows full absorption of the low mids the the bass all the stuff that needs to breathe is able to uh, when you have that uh, core that is uh, covered with a foil so protects you it allows the panel to work at its maximum uh, efficiency and last but not least it makes the back of the panel look pretty snazzy uh, it definitely looks better than a raw core on the back even though like I said in the very beginning of the video does it even matter because you don't see the back of the panel. But that being said, if you just throw aesthetics aside, it does matter because it can affect the performance of your panel. So that's why there's foil on the back of the NGA panels and the NGA base traps. Uh, there is a method to all the madness that we do. And uh, if you have any questions uh, about our panels, feel free to drop us a, uh, uh, email info at ngacoustics.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again soon in another video and uh, make sure to subscribe. Peace.